Now I am going to add to the stream our next amazing person who is going to be coming on. Now our next person is the amazing Alfred Zerfus. Now Alfred and I met several years ago now, probably five years ago or so, we met in Thailand, would you believe? And Alfred also joined my media program way back then, the Mass Media Mastery Program, a different version of the one I'm offering now. And we've stayed friends over the years. We've seen each other at events across Australia and we've stayed in touch and I've stayed with him in Melbourne a few times and we've, we've hung out and stayed in touch. And he's an amazing guy, 84 years of age. He's a retired public health doctor. He's very passionate about animals and about ending the cruelty of glue traps. And right now he's out to bring more joy to people uh, through singing. And we actually did a one-hour interview together that has been streamed to Media Queen TV on YouTube and also is on my Facebook if you want to know more about Alfred in that one-hour interview. But right now I'm going to hand the floor over to you, Alfred. I am going to unmute you, take myself out, and over to you with Sing With Fred all the way from Melbourne. Thank you, Alfred. I just want to mention something about Elena because she was making some amazing comments uh, and I would like to add that I see, I see dying as a process, not an event. And there was a, a movie made, Will for the Woods, from some friends, about this guy who prepared for his own funeral and the point was that people were allowed two days to, to meet him and say goodbye in their own time. And I've made a video called Conversations with My Mother and I resolve quite a few uh, issues with her because I'm starting to talk with her again and she died 30 years ago. I want to make those two comments because I think what Elena said is amazing. The same thing goes with, with your loved ones, whether they're uh, animals or humans or whatever they are. I'm Alfred, uh, a young oldie. 84, retired public health doctor, worked around the world in emergencies, nutrition and child health for UNICEF, etc. And finished about 10 years ago, came back to Australia. And I wasn't sure what to do because I'd been busy before. But I realized when you get old, there's two things. The older you are, the longer you live. And life is, uh, if you play golf, life is, uh, you're hitting off the 17th tee. But after the 18th green, you have a 19th hole which is the pub so you can carry on uh, longer. I started finding a bit more about myself and I found out about my core values from a mentor and mentors are amazing. I call her my tour mentor, she's from Sydney, but if you can get a mentor I think that's really amazing because they can explore things within you and I found my three characteristics were humor, curiosity and innovation. So I sort of started, what's my alter ego? And it seems to be a stand-up comedian. I'm not a very good one, and I can't sing at all. But still, um, I recognize the fact that I used to sing a lot while I was working. I gave uh, Alwyn one uh, example. I worked in Iraq with the, with the government, with Saddam Hussein, and uh, uh, the chief pediatrician at the, uh, at the main hospital. And we set up. 3,000 community child care centers around the country where uh, children were fed and educated, people were educated, and they called them Triple C. So every time we went, I sang a song, C, 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 I'm a little Triple C, 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 come and see me. So I'm not talking about big songs or anything like that. I'm just talking about ways of connecting. So I figured, well, let's do something with this. So I started something called Sing With Fred. There you are, Sing With Fred. Ha, ha, ha. I started, What is there a way in which singing or music can enhance communication? Because there's a lot about the health aspects and the re reduction of anxiety to humans, cows, plants, whatever. Uh, but not, not that much with direct communication as a preventive measure to, to ease the communication between one person and particularly your loved people and so forth. The communication of gratitude, of love, affection. And, uh, and so song and music are amazing for that. So I figured on starting something. I didn't know where to start. And a, a good friend of mine, who is my same age and hospital in his daughter, uh, worked for a newspaper or an article, how frustrated she was she couldn't see him. So I figured, okay, let's start with that niche. Start with the niche of connecting with your olders 
finding out what sort of music or song connects with them uh, and work out the song. I mean, it may be a, a popular song that you can twitch a little bit, but work out your own song, okay, and find out how to communicate. And it doesn't have to be a full song. It doesn't have to be 100% correct. It's just, it's just the music and the song getting through. So hopefully this will start empowering people. And I, I might mention the seven whys in coaching. Uh, you keep asking why, 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 why do you want to do this? What's your goal and so forth? And I figured my why was empowering people. I think a lot of what we're talking about today is empowerment. It's empowerment of the animals you love. It's empowerment of yourself. It's empowerment of the connection. And we feel uh, a lot more whole about it. See, that's how I start with uh, sing, sing a song, sing it loud, sing it strong. Sing it happy, not sad. Sing it good, not bad. Maybe that's my first message with you, that if we could communicate, if we could have songs with dogs and publicizing how important they are to us, uh, I think that would be helpful. So I'm starting to work on that. So if anyone's interested, let's work together. I'm not a musician, but I believe that that sort of communication would help people getting more interested in that particular connection and they can join in themselves you know they can they can work out a song themselves i'm preparing a compendium of songs uh, starting with a list of uh, 29 songs of love loss and appreciation of the american kennel club songs from cat stevens neil young peter paul and mary dolly parton elvis Presley, and of course patty Ch uh, page with the doggy in the window the Beatles song, Martha, My Dear, is actually about his, his sheepdog. So there's also viral songs from YouTube, and many of which are nursery rhymes. I, I don't think there's time to go into detail now, but if anyone's interested, they can contact me. The other thing is what types of songs do dogs appreciate, okay? Because it depends, it may be an individual thing or for a bigger dogs, a bit more like humans, but there's a lot of differences going on. So that's another area to explore. So if anyone's interested, again, my email address is azurface at gmail.com. And I'd appreciate having fun with you about this because I think it's a, it's a great thing to explore. I want to talk about glue traps as well because I believe that's important because it reflects inhumanity. It's to, it's mainly the animals, mice, of course, small rodents. And these glue traps are sticky boards. People think that this is uh, humane, but it isn't. It's, it's extremely cruel. And in fact, it's banned in Victoria, Tasmania, and I think Queensland, but not in New South Wales and not in, not in the US. So these glue traps, actually, the small animals stick on them and they can't get off and they tear at their limbs, they get dehydrated, they get sicker, and they die a very painful and cruel death. Here we are. This is me. This is the mouse in Parliament House. Okay. It's when I crawled up the steps of Parliament House and shouted to them, I'm the mouse in Parliament House. Give me a break. You might have to, you have, you might have to get rid of me, but don't be cruel. And this glue traps are banned in, in Victoria. The bulk of the sales are actually on eBay, where they sell 10, 20, 30 in a go. The $2 shops do still sell them. And we got this message on Parliament House to one of, to one of the Green Senators who raised the issue, but it's still not being treated very seriously. And I figure that if we can do something about this lack of attention, to other animals, people will be aware of the suffering, the suffering that's occurring in animals that we are, are putting on them. And if we can get that message across, that can be part of a larger message to say, stop the suffering. These are our humane, our humane pets who help us. Why are we forbidding them to continue this way? What's happened to us? Just for convenience? So if we can get some messages across through song or through some other way, I think that might help. So I'll just leave that with you. 
and thank you very much for allowing me to talk. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alfred. You're amazing. Absolutely love your work. And, you know, it's shocking what happens with these glue traps. I'm sure a lot of people would have no idea that right. kittens get caught on them, you know, geckos, lizards, birds get caught on these glue traps. It's just shocking. It's so cruel. It just should not be allowed. So good on you for being the mouse in the house, Alfred. You are <laughs> thing you just can't get off that's just you know hopefully if that's not enough to stop people from using glue traps and i don't know what is you know it's just having awareness you know just having awareness out there if, if one person sees this and stops using glue traps then that's fantastic you know and if you're moved by what you see here today please share the love uh, at the very least today if you're moved share the love pop your comments into the chat i'll be sharing some comments up on the screen as well in this live stream thank you so much alfred 84 years young you're an absolute trooper you're fantastic we've had many a song and dance together and uh, in fact we even did it we even did five rhythms together didn't we years ago we did five rhythms dance uh, with with our good friend Gary Wallman in Melbourne we did, oh, a, five that's right. rhythms, yeah, Gary, we yeah, did that's a five right. rhythms dance night together as well with <laughs> Alfred it was amazing if anyone knows five rhythm it's it's free range dancing and it's just awesome and Alfred myself oh, that's and right, yeah. Good friend Gary Wallman went to a five rhythms night together. The, it was the awesome. other main thing I want to mention is thinking outside the box because there are areas that one can progress without going the conventional route. And incorporating song is one way of doing that. There, are, I'm sure there are other ways as well. But if we can keep thinking outside the box to get people's attention because their attention span is very limited these days. So we have, we have to get some sort of catch, something to get their attention, and then we can move on with the story and the action. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Alfred Zerfus. You, you rock. Thank you, Alfred, all the way from Melbourne. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, so funny.